like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hello everybody, hope everyone is well today. Hi. Y'all, check out Grand Chief This from the UK, Carbonation Supporter. <laughs> Angel, peace, peace God. Peace I love God. myself. I love myself. Come closer to the pizza. Okay, that's, that's fine. Mm. And you know, youth always tell the truth. I ain't even finna hold y'all, but y'all did hear her say peace reflections and I love myself to her youngest son in the beginning of this clip, right? That's because she is still teaching her children, Elihio Bishop, aka Nature Boy, aka Three God, aka Chief Hoppa John Hop Pockets, knowledge. Put your quotas up when you say knowledge. And I believe that she's still supporting Carbonation, to be honest, financially. <clears throat> so, I just came on here randomly today, not randomly, purposefully. Um, I, um, I'm well, I appreciate it. I hope everyone is feeling good. Me, <clears throat> I've been doing a lot of like work on myself. If everybody, anybody has been following me. Over the last few years, then, um, you know, that's something I'm doing. And, um, so, part of this journey is, is being vulnerable, is being vulnerable. Oh, sugar, honey, iced tea. What does Kaja want to be vulnerable about, y'all? Now, y'all know I already know because I watched it. You know, of course, I recorded this, but I'm building up the suspense, guys. What do y'all think she's about to be vulnerable about? Let me know in the comments. Vulnerable. Achoom. Peace. So part of this journey is being vulnerable and for me for me i in times of stress in times of stress i um tend to get like hyped up and um, overreact and then I get emotional and like, like even now, like my heartbeat, like my blood pressure and my emotions. 
<clears throat> so I'm practicing being emotionally mature and calm in my responses and how I engage. <clears throat> and being kind to myself and others as I'm sometimes in an uncomfortable situation. Oops. Oh, jeez. Sorry. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm not going to wave because it's like the button pressing is changing the screen. Anyway. So... <sighs> So I'm just, I'm using this moment and just jumped on live because um, I'm just practicing like vulnerability and, um, you know, being recorded, recording myself. Um... I was really upset before I came live and um, so I just wanted to take this opportunity to be vulnerable, come on live, calm myself down, um, act maturely in a time of mm, frustration. Interested in a great read? Check out Greatness is a Habit authored by Aaron Dixon also known as True. Many of you know him as True. He has authored this amazing read. The book is available on Apple Books for $1. Get your copy today and stay motivated to win. Guys, can y'all do me a quick favor? Hit that like button for me one time. Bush babies, come on out of the bushes and subscribe to the channel. I promise you'll love it here. And I've been very frustrated lately. I've had many moments of emotional mm, stress and um, in the past I would like, you know, become emotional, start crying, raise my voice. Um, be, you know, not physically, but just combative with not wanting to um, react in a situation where it would calm down the situation and instead, like, it would get, it, it would intensify things. And so, and this isn't even like, um, I was given an assignment kind of by somebody um, advising me that they wanted me to record a video on how in the past I've been selfish instead of self selfless in a really, and this isn't even like, um, I was given an assignment kind of by somebody um, advising me that they wanted me to record a video on how in the past I've been selfish instead of self selfless in a relationship to where it harmed the relationship. Now I got questions. Who gave Kaja this assignment guys who y'all think gave her this assignment put it in the comments let me know less in a relationship to where it harmed the relationship <clears throat> which of course i have of course i have been selfish i you know um but when i heard that assignment kind of given like 
what I felt to be like an order. It made me very upset. And um, it made me very upset and I was like, you know what, fuck that, like I don't have to do anything that I don't want to do and like, you know, why don't you go fucking do a video by, I didn't say any of this, I was just thinking it, like why don't you go do a fucking video on how you're selfless and selfish. But I didn't. And, um, I knew when I, I knew when I started having those combative thoughts, um, that instead of like feeding into that and being self-righteous then I would use that moment to although not follow the assignment per se maybe I'll get to it I don't know I have no idea like where this is going but I just wanted to use that moment where I felt you know I could identify um, you know, it's not a healthy reaction, um, for one to be so, uh, uh, be so against trying to help oneself in, you know, with a suggestion, like, of something that's going to help me. So, I just wanted to, while I was in that moment of anger, I just wanted to come on live, which is not something I normally do. It's not something I'm comfortable with, for whatever reason. Probably because, you know, I don't want to be vulnerable. Um. Thank you guys all for coming in. I know I'm, I know I'm kind of like jumping around and maybe it's not, I'm not, um, I just like, I get kind of tongue tied when I speak, um, live. So, um, I know this might not be the best viewing experience for everybody, but I'm doing this for me and maybe that's selfish and maybe it's selfless but hi everybody sorry I'm not really reading the I'm not really reading the uh, comments too much but hi everybody I appreciate you for spending this moment with me falling in love with who I am I don't have time for anything that's gonna harm me It may be hard to understand Words have the power to empower or destroy me now I'm looking in the inside now Claiming what I lost and found I'm on this journey Returning to I've been very unhappy lately. I've been very unhappy. I've been very frustrated. not happy in my situation in my current situation I'm not happy 
and I keep trying to tell myself that these building feelings of unhappiness are are wrong because I need to be grateful at every moment. I need to I need to be grateful and thankful. Thank you guys. But however I'm just very unhappy. I've really been trying to work on myself, especially like, especially over this last year. I feel very, and it's like, I don't even want to say I feel proud of myself because like, like it's been starting to be shown to me that, or said to me that Pride is a bad thing, so so it's like I'm even hesitant to say I'm proud of myself for greatly improving some of my character issues, and um, I'm just very unhappy with a lot of things. I feel like over these last couple years, I haven't been selfish enough. Because if, if I was more selfish, then I would be focused on loving myself and nurturing myself instead of worrying about living up to somebody's standards, trying to, trying to make somebody else or trying to feel like I'm gaining somebody else's approval. Their opinion means so much to me. Any haters in here right now that don't have nobody to hate on, feel free to hate on me. Sit back there and say my hair ain't luxurious when you know it is, bitch. Peace to the pack. Are you being honest with where you're currently at? Or are you inflating or have a distorted sense of where you're currently at? The only way that you're going to get to where you're actually trying to go is that you have to be brutally honest with where you're currently at and that might not be a good place you might not be making the money that you want be in the relationship in the shape that you want there might be a lot of things that you don't have but until you're willing to accept and be clear about exactly precisely where you stand you won't have the necessary context to get to where you're trying to go you need some sort of reference point so that you know drop me a comment smash the heck out of that like button for me one time gaining somebody else's approval because their opinion means so much to me and I keep trying to live up to that standard and improving myself but it seems like things just are deteriorating more and more And I don't want to play a victim. I don't want to... I'm not trying to portray myself as a victim because I am not. I'm not a victim. But I need to be more selfish and I need to put myself first. I need to love myself more. And I feel like trying to please others, improve myself to others has been to my detriment. And I'm losing myself. I'm losing myself.
And I'm very loyal. I'm a very loyal person. And I need to be loyal to myself. I need to be loyal to myself. I'm so grateful and thankful for everything I've allowed myself to learn and to see while I've been on this journey. And I'm so thankful to everybody who I've had the opportunity and the pleasure to engage with and interact with, especially since I've been here in Puerto Rico. What's up, y'all? So I'm here with my man, Jay. Uh, Jay, good? Where, where are you from, bro? From Toronto, Canada. Hey, man, what's it like in Toronto? What, what do you tell me? The cost of living is crazy right now. You know, it's like... I would compare it to like a New York or a LA, but a little bit, I'd say a little bit more difficult. The cost of living, y'all, if y'all look at his glasses real quick, <laughs> y'all can kind of see where we at. I was saying the cost of living, you would think it being that high, that that would be applied for a place like this. Right. He, it's cheaper probably than one bedroom in Toronto. This was back when Solar, AKA Courtney, AKA Sir Capilot, was pushing his retreat and people telling people they should move to Playa del Carmel, Mexico, because it's cheaper there. But as of December 6th, 2023, Homeboy is back in the States, if y'all didn't know. Originally, he said he was headed to Atlanta. And then I started speculating and said that he was actually summoned to go. And then all of a sudden, his plans changed. Y'all, I think he was really subpoenaed to be in Atlanta to give his witness testimony as to what occurred the night of the alleged R word. What y'all think? And I think he's acting like his plans changed because he doesn't want anybody to know that he's down there to testify. Now, is it going to be against or for Elihio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. Three God, a.k.a. Chief Hoppa John Hot Pocket? This. Right. He asked, it's cheaper probably than a one bedroom in Toronto. 100%. A one bedroom in Toronto is going for 2500 right now. And this comes Maybe with that's like, that's like a little bit more than 2000 US for a one bedroom. A little bit over here on the beach, on the fifth floor. You see what I'm saying? This is the space right here, this unit, and then the house on the other side here. I'll show you real quick. This is what we're using for our retreat space. Okay, guys, let's get back to Kaja. Here in Puerto Rico. And I have often and gratefully put myself into the mode of being in service to others. And that's something I'm very good at. Um, um, I thought that being of service to others, being a servant, was being selfless. Um, but there's definitely been times when I've been selfish. There has been. Um, 
I'm glad there's only one person watching me in here crying. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you for being here with me, everybody. I appreciate you. Maybe I'm selfish because, especially lately, I find I just crave physical touch so much. And I just really want to hold. I want to have a partner that holds me and hugs me and enjoys that and loves me and touches me and tells me they love me not tells me they love themselves we already fucking know that we already know you love yourself I want somebody who tells me they love me and maybe that's selfish and tells me they love me not tells me they love themselves we already fucking know that we already know you love yourself I want somebody who tells me they love me. And maybe that's selfish. I don't think that's selfish at all. What y'all think? I don't think that's selfish, not one bit. Maybe that's selfish. But that's what I... That's what I crave. Especially recently. And, um... I'm putting that out into the universe right now that Kajike is selfish and she desires, she is summoning a partner who loves and expresses that love. Their love language, Kaja's partner expresses their love language via physical touch, affection, Kisses, hugs, holding me at night, caressing my hair, telling me they love me, holding her hand. I'm selfish. I'm so grateful for this opportunity to be vulnerable. Uh, I know. It took me way back. Back down memory lane. You better know how to swim with that body. I know, I remember. Come on, Ellie. You gonna jump right there? Nine months pregnant. You gonna jump in there? You about that way? Go with her. Cause I got the camera. You know, maybe you have to put this down and come play Captain Saber. Hey, Oh my son, see that thing? You know how to swim, right? You better know how to swim with that body. I know I've always been an ugly crier and I have a mood in cancer in 12th house <sighs> so when I get into my feelings when I get emotional in the past that's looked like a lot of crying and ugly faces and although the crying ugly face still emerges, I'm thankful that 
through this journey the last couple of years, I've learned to reel in the times when I, when my uh, reaction is to cry because I know it's, for me, it, uh, it doesn't, it, it, it doesn't help communication because of the crying and the, Anyway, um, I don't know. If I stay on here, I'll probably have more to say, but I don't know. I think I'm just going to be here with myself for a little while. A flashback from the ladies of Carbonation. Wow. So I got, so this time I'll be on your ass. Well, we getting off. You broke the code. Bye, y'all. Now that's what you call a real throwback. Hold on a second. <sighs> Let's see, I'm gonna go back and read comments. I know nobody's in here right now anyway. Let's see who said hello. Hi, Alderwick. Hi, Alicia Brooke. God bless you. Hi, Ayri. Hi, Alisa Lamarek. Hi, Nasser. Hi, Michael. Hi, I'm Lauren. Hi, Salam, the other half. Hi, Black Boys 979. Hi, Fruits, Flutes, Flutos, Comply. Hi, JN, Fasa, Alex, Sandy, Queen. Hi, The Only. Hi, Dev, Fasar. Hi, Jerome, Toe Farm. Oh, how's my Leo horse doing? Anyway, I I don't know if anybody has any questions. I'll answer any questions right now. I'm super open. Um, and super open to answer any questions. I don't think anybody's in here right now. So... I guess I'm going to close out. I love myself. I do love myself. I do love myself. Peace, God.
to fight for my yearnings. Fear in my mind is a warning. Pray to the one you're relying. I've been wondering all day. I tried to be fine, but I can't be. The noise in my mind wouldn't leave me. I tried to get by, but I'm burning. 